G'day legends and welcome back to the Mighty Overlander. Now I'm back in the workshop with Phil the Mechanic. Tony, how are you my friend? Legendary my man. Okay, so today what we're going to be doing in episode two of the complete cargo revamp of the Mighty Jimny is we're going to be installing the K-On standalone rear shelf unit. Now what this does is it makes excellent use of the dead space just on the roof there above the passenger seats. Now this is normally a space that doesn't get used. Now in the past you have seen that I made my own little bungee kind of uh, netting system that kind of went there. Now it was okay at the time, but if you put anything heavy in there, it tends to bounce around like the Bitcoin price at the moment, all right? So it's not really the best unit in the world. Now, it's a good, cheap, do-it-yourself uh, kind of thing, but you know, when it comes down to serious off-roading or proper overlanding, this is the unit that you wanna be getting, all right? So what we'll do is we'll give my first impressions, because this is the first time that we've actually opened it. The box is just over there, just like the last unit. I'll give an impression on what the build quality is and how this unit goes together, and then we're gonna go into the step-by-step -step instructions of installing this. And like with the Molly panels, once we get everything installed, we're gonna be taking this rig off-road for the next camping trip so I can give it a full field test and show you guys exactly how everything works. All right, guys, stay tuned. Go get yourself a nice cold one and we'll do all the hard work. Enjoy. All right, guys, so the K-On standalone roof shelf. Now, like before, K-On did send me this gear out, but they've given me permission to do a full unbiased review. And that's why I've got my man, Phil the Mechanic here. He's gonna check out this kit. He's never seen it before. And he's gonna tell you what his opinion is of the build quality and how useful this will be in the Jimny. So, Phil, what do you reckon, mate? This is the second piece of K-On gear that we've installed today. What do you reckon? Mate, the boys at K-On have done an excellent job. Um, following on from the, the side panels, uh, the roof shelf, Top notch. Once again, laser cut, robust, good quality uh, powder coating on there. And this one, even more simple than the, uh, the side panels to install. That's the best thing I like about this. This uses existing anchor points up in the roof. Okay, so where the old grab handles are, the Jesus bars, where you grab them, all right, this is where this all actually mounts into. Now, the thing about the Jimny and space being an absolute premium in the back, most of the time you've actually got these rear seats folded down when you're out camping. So this allows you to have this really good use of the space up behind the, uh, the passenger's seat, seat there up on the roof, and you can put all kinds of cool gear. Now the other thing I like, it's actually set up with the same kind of molly cut system. So if you want, you can actually strap a couple of those molly pouches like you can with those side panel windows and that actually uses even more use of the space above and below this shelf. I think it's absolutely fantastic. Now the instructions, fantastic, full colour, easy. I mean there's like what four steps all right this is going to be one of the easiest insoles that we have ever done I reckon mate. Yep I would dare say just get you and a mate to do it just because of um, being above your head on the install so get your mates around two of you to do it 15 minutes flat no, no worries. Fantastic all right now this is a slightly longer piece of kit than the molly shelves so like Phil said a couple of the lads hold it in place bolt it up and she'll be apples all right guys we're going to move straight into the install and get this one done i reckon that this is going to be a pretty snappy number all right mate let's get into it easy let's go all right guys we're in the back of the jiminy got a nice side mounting brackets here for the shelf and uh utilizing the existing mounting points in the back of the jiminy for the grab handle uh, grab handles which are up here and large section screwdriver this is how simple this install is going to be for these side brackets literally two bolts and then you can put the grab handles and the fasteners back on over the top so you still retain them once they're reinstalled. This simple. So bracket underneath, grab handle on top. Nice, easy install. So the boys at K-On have really thought about uh, how they wanted to mount their shelf, utilizing the existing mounting points, which are going to be super structural and no mess, no fuss, no drilling, no riv nuts. And just like that, your first bracket's in place. So rinse and repeat on the other side, and then grab your mates and we'll uh, get the shelf in place. All right guys, we're now gonna fit the rear fence to the shelf using the M5 fasteners. Simply line up the holes, add the fastener, nut on the bottom, Here's a touch fiddly to get your fingers in there. There's four in total. So do the two ends first, just to stop it wobbling around. And then once these are tightened up, the uh, shelf will be ready for the install into the back of the Jimny. 
just tighten these up. That's it. Once they're tight, this is ready to be transferred into the back of Jiminy and we'll uh, get it on the uh, mounting brackets. Sturdy as. All right, guys, so now we're going to lift this bad boy into place. So I'm going to hold this yep. just up like that. Okay. This is where it helps to have a couple of mates involved. <laughs> Now there's multiple holes here that you can mount it. So there's, there's ones for height, so how high you want it to the roof, and also how far forward you want it in the actual cabin. So um, there's multiple, you know, multiple uh, mounting holes there, so you can adjust it to suit your own specific use. So um, you know, if you've got other cargo barriers or anything else in place, or you want it mounted further rearward, um, you're able to do so. So the boys at Kayon have, you know, really, thought of all the different options. What a cool piece of kit. <laughs> Mate, that is all in. <laughs> that is pretty cool though. And that's done. That's it. Where are we? All right, there you go. All right guys, that's the uh, k -on roof system. Bolted in the back of the Jiminy. Super simple install. We did this in 15 minutes if that. Um, definitely recommend having a mate just to hold it in place where you get the top fasteners in. But um, another cool piece of kit from uh, the guys at k -on. Rightio guys, there you have it. The full install of the k -on standalone rear roof shelf. So first off, Phil, once again. My pleasure, thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much for that. And thank you very much to Kayon Australia. So this is actually a really impressive piece of kit. It took us 15 minutes to install. A couple of little bits of information about this one though. Just remember it's got a 10 kilo roof load rating so basically you don't want to be pulling out the anchor points on the inside of the car so be sensible about how much gear you actually put up in it it's really good for those kind of medium to light items myself i reckon i'm going to be putting up my gas cooker up there because that's a nice light piece of kit and it's also quite a long bulky piece of kit that would have to go somewhere else so that's a really good little piece of kit for me there now the other one is it's actually got a couple of little bottle openers at the end now that's pretty handy so especially if you're running around in the bush and you're time to have a brewski and you forget that you don't have a bottle opener with you, well, this one comes with you all the time. So that's absolutely fantastic. All right, guys, look, as always, like, subscribe to the channel. It helps the channel out a hell of a lot. And I will be seeing you guys on the next episode where we install the gas bottle holder on the rear wheel. Once we've done that one, we'll be going out for a fourth episode to field test all of this fantastic gear and make sure that you can see it working in its natural habitat. All right, guys, enjoy your weekend. I'm going to enjoy mine. See you next time. Cheers.